Hey guys, Studio Top Toots here, and today I'm showing a new tweak called Springtomize 3. Now, this is a really, really popular tweak, so I thought I'd make a review on it and show you guys how to get it. Okay, so the repo will be in the description, so you can go and download it uh, from that for free. Uh, so, this is how to get it for free as well. So, once you've downloaded it, we're going to go either into settings or you'll get an icon appear called Springtomize. So either way, you're going to want to go onto it. Now, I'm just going to go, go through all this really briefly. Um, there's animations, so you can change the speed of like the way, um, like how quickly your thing like backs out of things like that, or something like that. The app slider, now this is this. Now, as you can see, it shows like one in the middle, and then half of one either side of it. Uh, let me just head back into Spring Tomorrow's. Yeah, you can um, resize this. So if I put it to 200, or to 20% to fit more or less pages in. Uh, and with the home action is when, if you want to slide up on that, you can either choose for it to respring or do nothing. Okay, control center, this is pretty simple. You can just hide anything on the control center. So yeah, you can hide anything on there. I'm not going to do it because I'm not going to respring in this actual video, but yeah, I'll tell you what you can, what you can do. Uh, next is dock. Now in the dock, you can completely hide your dock from the springboard, and that um that that literally you won't have anything there. It'll just be replaced with icons. Same with the dock background, you can hide that. You can resize the dock icons, and you can hide the labels. Choose how many you want. Now cover flow is really cool. I've got it on enabled, I haven't got it on reverse, but cover flow is what you see. Go away. Um, cover flow is what you see down here at the bottom. I do not want to go into internet. Oh my phone is lagging. <laughs> okay. Um yes, yeah, so you've got five icons down at the bottom here. And it puts a really cool looking effect on them. Uh the safari is kind of bugged out there a little bit. It's a little bit buggy at the moment, but um you can put a probably probably cool effect on them. Uh, next up is the icons. Now you can hide the recently updated like little blue badge that you have. Uh, once you've updated an icon from the app store, you can uh, stop them, prevent icons from being moved. So you lock the layout that you have it in at the moment. You can disable wiggling, disable uninstall, hide the badges, change the badge color. So uh, if I tick that and then the badge color at the moment, you can see that it's red as I've got a three next to the Cydia. I go on this, I can change it to green and it'll say at the top by the icons thing to the left what colour it's going to end up like. But I'm just going to leave it how it was, turn that off. You can hide icons like newsstand, spring to mice, or choose any icon on your device. If you want to hide it, uh, you literally just simply just select it. Okay, next thing is lock screen. Now you can hide the camera. Um, you can also change the slider style. I'm going to keep mine on original. Because I've got, um, let me just show you now real quick. I've got a ghost slider right there. So, I don't really want to change it. Um, the time and the font size. Uh, what you can do, the side of the times font size, you can change that to all the way up to 117. And the time style, you can choose to dis display settings. I mean, settings seconds, as you can see I got there. I've got the seconds, which I really like. I think that looks a lot better. Look at that. I mean, set, set, I keep saying settings. Seconds. <laughs> um, and then, second to last, even, <laughs> you've got pages. So you can hide the page dots. See at the bottom here of the screen, you've got uh, three little dots there. For how many pages I have, you can hide them. So, yeah, if you want to do it, you can disable, disable spotlights, which I have got, because... They're pretty annoying. Uh, they're pretty annoying. It's pretty annoying, so I don't really like to have it. Uh, you can also put a cover flow on the icons too, but I just don't think it looks that good. So I personally don't have it on the uh, all the page icon pages, pages icons, whatever you want to say. Um, and the lastly is the status bar. So you can choose a custom carrier, custom time to put in, and you can hide certain icons from there, like anything you want. Really look. Rotation lock, time, VPN, anything like that you can hide. Also in folders, you can um, 
enable cover flow and resize the icons so if I just show you if I head off into my folder here as you can see I've got it on reverse so it looks pretty cool um, I don't think reverse looks as good as um, regular down here the thing I've also got it when there's no transition so as you can see it just jumps straight into the folder without any like fading uh, effects or anything like that so that's a lot better because this is just generally a lot quicker you can get around your device way quicker than usual so as you can see I've got another few stuff in there so yeah guys that's pretty much the spring to mind tweak um, also the yeah that's pretty much it actually um, so guys thank you for watching this video if this helps you at all in any way or you just really enjoyed it remember to give it a big thumbs up and uh, yeah that's about it guys see you next video peace